Now, we have a special guest with us this morning, Space Shuttle Endeavor astronaut Barbara Morgan, who's at Disney World. She's going to be honored along with six of her uh, fellow astronauts. And first of all, Barbara, we thank you so much for joining us and uh, getting up with us this morning. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mike, and hello to you, and hello to Spokane. I know a lot of the people in the Inland Northwest do miss you. And first, I wanted to get to this. It's really been a journey for you. You began in the NASA Teacher in Space program all the way back in 1985. This has been a real journey for you. Uh, how does the culmination feel finally? And talk a little bit about the journey. Well, it's funny to hear you say a long time ago in 1985, <laughs> actually, <laughs> that seems like just yesterday. And uh, there are so many people that worked so hard for so many years um, to, uh, to keep the work of, the, of, of Krista McAuliffe, our, our first and always teacher in space and the whole Challenger crew uh, keep those dreams alive and, and work very, very hard and still do and still will forever. And I was reading your bio this morning and, and you are in fact a teacher in space, but you really do have some specific things that you do. You're more than just a teacher that's hanging out there. Talk a little bit about what some of your mission goals are and what specifically that you do while you're up there. Well, first of all, if you're a teacher, no teacher is just a teacher. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of, if you don't mind, kind of correct you on that. But um, okay. uh, teachers work hard every single day, and uh, <laughs> and um, and they're, and they're uh, they deservedly need to be proud of what they do. Yes. Um, the astronaut jobs, and and truly, the different you know, teachers and astronauts do do the same thing. They explore they discover, they learn, and they share. The difference is the astronauts do it in space, the teachers do it with their students in their classrooms on Earth. And, uh, and with the teacher in space and uh, the, the program that we have now with teachers who, uh, who, who are astronauts, the, it's the same thing. It's a teacher experiencing space flight through the eyes, ears, hearts, and minds of a teacher and then sharing those experiences. And the difference is that those that are astronauts also do the, the uh, specific jobs of an astronaut. And uh, we all had uh, various jobs on this mission. And uh, uh, my particular responsibilities involved operating the shuttle and the station robotic arm which is very much, which is really challenging and really fun and I want all the kids to know that was great about it was it's, it, it really is geometry in action and, um, and the geometry that I learned in school, it was, it was fun getting to do geometry and um, also we were responsible for uh, about 5,000 pounds of equipment that needed that we needed to take and transfer to station uh, for, for our station crew members who are still up there today, Clay, Oleg, and Fyodor, and bring back, uh, so we, we moved about 5,000 pounds worth of stuff between wow. our shuttle and station and brought the things home that they don't need anymore. And these are, these are things like food, uh -huh. clothing, uh, you know, daily living things, and a lot of the equipment uh, for working in space. Well, Barbara, and, we uh, appreciate it, and I will tell you that's not the first time I've been corrected by a teacher, so <laughs> no offense to that. We thank you so much for joining us and the entire Inland Northwest is very proud of you. Thanks and uh, have a great time being honored today.